starting off the day with some Jamba Juice. I was gonna go to Starbucks and then I realized um, I don't really ever drink Starbucks and I'm not a coffee drinker, so if I'm gonna have sugar from a double chocolatey chip, I'd rather have the white gummy from Jamba Juice. I haven't had this in forever, it's so good. Um, today is gonna be a vlog style video. I'm going to be going over to the candle supply store and um, hopefully I'll be able to do like a little tour of it. If not, um, I'll try to get a little bit of footage in there. I'm still a little bit awkward when it comes to filming around other people, especially when I walk in, I'm like, hi, can I film your store? Um, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm not in a rush. They open right now, but they're only open for four hours. It should only take me about an hour to get up there because it is Saturday, so it shouldn't be too trafficy. So. We're just gonna enjoy the day and I'll take you guys along with me. I just got done at California Candle Supply. I got, oh, I got some scents, this bag's gonna rip. And I also got some more jars that are in my trunk with the lids. And I also talked to one of the workers um, in regards to my questions with my wicks and just how crazy I've been going. And I got a lot of good information. So I'm excited to go home and test out what he recommended. So um, I did end up getting a couple of wicks just to make sure I had them. I was thinking in my head that I think I do have some of those wicks at home, but I want to be sure. And um, I mean, I don't know, I guess you can never have too many wicks, right? Especially since they're really not that expensive. They're a very inexpensive part of the candle making process. So I'm excited. I got some... I got a big thing of Jamaican Me Crazy, and I know that scent is very, very powerful. It's one of my favorites. And then I got Mimosa, again, one of my favorites. I love fruity scents. And then we're trying out the white tea again, guys. If you guys saw my video on my haul, uh, my haul, my candle supply haul video, I talked about white tea and how um, for some reason it smelled really sour and almost kind of like expired. It just has a very off smell to it and I can't even like explain it. Like it, there's something very off about it. Almost like it's expired, but it's not. I don't know. It has a very interesting smell to it. So I'll try that again in, in the future. I'm wondering if maybe just something was weird about it. So I was talking to the worker about it and he said just make sure that it wasn't in direct sunlight or anything so it possibly could have been um, in the back of my car on the way home when I got it so I'm gonna make sure that it's covered down here and that it's not you know getting hit by sun so yeah it's gonna be about an hour hour and a half home hopefully not as much traffic as there was here and considering it's Saturday honestly coming over here was not that bad so uh, we're gonna go home and keep going with the day Okay, so I just got back home and I feel like I need a nap. I don't know why. Driving long distance. It wasn't even that long of a distance. It was like an hour and a half there, hour and a half back. And I already feel like I need a nap. So, um, but I'm not going to take a nap. I need to wake myself up and uh, start making some candles. I actually went to my leasing office and one of the maintenance guys wanted to buy uh, some of my melts. So he gave me some money for that. So I need to make some melts and test some wicks. So we're gonna do a lot more wick testing. I have all these jars from all of my other wicks I've been testing. And we're just gonna try to perfect this just as much as we can because I am getting to the point where I am so, so frustrated. And that's one thing that you guys will find when you're testing and you're going through this process too is that, I mean, it feels like nothing's working and you're testing so many different wicks and either it's too big or too small or it doesn't reach the edge and there's a couple things that some of the guys told me about and I'm going to take that into consideration when it comes to testing my jars and how to do it. So I'm going to just keep trying but for now we're going to get to testing and get to making. I'm not in the Never once, never once. Ooh, I thought it'd be 
So it is now Sunday, and that's actually when I wanted to get this video up, but it is what it is. I got really, really tired yesterday. It was a really long day of driving, and I mean, in the middle of the video, I think it was around 1.30, and I was exhausted, feeling like I wanted to go to sleep. So I ended up actually getting to make 50 melts, and even though I didn't record all of it, um, I was able to get 50 of them made of a few different scents, I think maybe six or seven scents I did. I also did some little test ones um, because I'm trying to find the best sandalwood that I can. And um, I decided to just make like one melt each of uh, different sandalwoods to just test it. So that's what I was able to get done yesterday. And then today um, has flown by like crazy because I had no idea that it was daylight savings until about nine or 10 o'clock this morning. So I didn't really get a chance to do too much. Um, I spent a lot of the time editing um, this video and because I really wanted to get it up tonight, but um, that didn't happen. So I want to have a schedule of every Thursday and Sunday, but this week is just gonna be Monday, so is what it is. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how I put the labels on my um, little tart melts and I wanted to show you guys how I'm testing my jar. We're gonna put all the labels on these. So I just printed these out and these are the Vacation Island ones. So I'm just gonna make sure, so make sure your hands are clean because you don't want any dirt or anything getting on the labels. So when I put it on, I just try to look at it and see what the middle part is. And then I lightly push it down on all the corners, just like that. They look like when they have the labels on them and I still need to actually go and design the warning sticker that goes on the inside so I've seen some people put it on the outside of it but I'd rather put it on the inside flap of the plastic so behind this on the inside and I'm gonna do um, the same size as my candle so I'm gonna do the circular two inch ones and I'm going to design that and put it on the inside so I want to also show you guys how to test jars when you've already made the candles, but it's the wrong wick inside. So these ones, um, this I'm gonna be now putting two wicks in this size jar, and then this one, the wick is um, a size too big for this jar. So what I'm gonna do, these are actually, these are glued down to the wicks at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm going to pull this out. It usually comes right out that away and then same thing with this one and then what you're gonna do is take some toothpicks and we are going to this one's fine because this one's pretty much down the center but this one I'm gonna put two smaller holes kind of right beside where I had the wick in the middle because when you have two wicks you want to make sure that it's a little bit closer towards the middle than it is towards the sides of the jar and then I'm just gonna take, so this is an Eco 12, and I'm gonna take the wick trimmer. This one's a little bent. So I'm gonna take the wick trimmer, cut off the ends, and then replace that down in the center, and then cut it to a quarter of an inch. There we go. And then with this one, 
gonna do two eco twos. And same thing, so I'm just gonna take this on the edge and cut these. And then put them into the new ones that I created here. So this allows you to be able to test jars even if you've made um, the wicks in there already, you can take the wicks out and replace it. And then I'll even, if I'm trying to test out different wicks too, I'll um, take the wicks out that's already been burned and then if the edges are uneven, I'll just take a paper towel and I'll wipe it down um, to try to even it out or I'll um, put in new wicks and then pour a little bit more wax on top, maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch, just to be able to um, smooth out the top a little bit more. And then we're gonna light these. So this is Saturday Morning Cartoons, and this one I actually have not tested all the way through yet in terms of wicks or anything so this is definitely needed i have the malibu coffee shop going on back there so we're gonna put these in the testing station which is my little bar up here i think that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already as well as follow me on instagram at memory box candle co and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys